Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back. So it is prom season and I've been wanting to do a prom tutorial on my channel for like the last year, I think, since I've had my channel. But last year just got ridiculous and with me freelancing and doing other people's makeup that I did not have time to sit down and film a tutorial. So I'm doing one for you today. I will prayerfully have up other prom tutorials because this one is obviously purple. So this is more conducive if you're you're wearing like a silver dress or a black dress or a purple dress of course. I really enjoy doing this tutorial because when I was in high school I actually went to prom three years in a row. No I did not get held back. When I was a sophomore I was dating a senior so I went to his senior prom. Then when I was a junior of course I went to my junior prom and then obviously as a senior I went to my senior prom. So my first two proms my mom did my makeup for me and it looked really good because she's just the bomb like that and I wasn't really into makeup or had enough makeup knowledge to do it myself and I was not about to go pay somebody to do my makeup for me when my mom could do it herself. And then my senior year I actually did my makeup myself which was really cool because my dress was uh, rainbow colored. <laughs> yes girl I was colorful. So my makeup definitely reflected that and it's funny because when I look at my makeup I was like who the hell told me that was okay. But I was young and did not know much, but at least this generation of seniors, they have YouTube to rely on. Whereas when I was a senior, YouTube wasn't really popping like that. But anyways, enough blabbering. If you would like to see how I got this super glittery cut crease purple makeup look for prom, please keep on watching. Okay, so since it's prom and we wanna be beat for Zeus, I'm gonna go ahead and use primers first. Please, please, please do not forget to prime your skin. That is one of the main components to making sure that your foundation lasts you all night. So I'm gonna go on with the Too Faced Hangover RX primer and then the Dr. Brandt Pores No More primer. So for foundations today, I'm gonna to be using the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, and I'm gonna mix that with the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream Foundation. These two foundations give some of the best full coverage ever. I do mix these because I am a little too tan for the Lock It Tattoo by itself in the shade that I have, and I'm a little too light, if you will, for the shade that I have in the Becca. So this is the Deep 74 Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo, and this is the Becca Foundation in Mahogany. So I'm gonna mix that foundation together with the back of my brush and kind of just plop that on my face. Oh, I'm using the It Cosmetics brush from Ulta. This is their number 115 Airbrush Complexion Perfection brush. You definitely wanna use a brush that's gonna give you like really good full coverage, especially if you're, you know, acne prone or maybe have acne scars like I do. I mean, I don't, I'm not acne prone, but I do have post acne scarring and eczema discoloration. So definitely use a full coverage foundation and apply it with a brush that's gonna give you the most full coverage. All right, so before I do anything else with the face, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the eyes. Since we'll be working with glitter today, I'm not gonna complete the face first just to avoid getting glitter fallout absolutely everywhere. So I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. First, I'm gonna comb through them because y'all know how my eyebrows like to go everywhere. Now I'm gonna be taking the spiked brow pencil from MAC and underlying the bottom half of my eyebrow. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm gonna take the NYX Waterproof Eyebrow Gel. Now I'm gonna be taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42, and I'm going to use this to clean up the shape under my eyebrow. Now I'm gonna set my brows using the Tinted Waterproof Brow Set from MAC. This is in the shade Show Off. All 
Alright, so as usual, I'm going to prime my eyelids using the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer. First, I'm going to start with the crease as usual, and I'm going to go in with Red Brick Eyeshadow by MAC on a 224. Now I'm going to take this extra ancient quad from MAC. This is from the, oh my god, what was it called? Novelty Romance. I really cannot remember the name of the collection. I'll put it somewhere in this video. All of these shades are limited edition, but MAC does have singular shades that are very close to these. So if you don't have this palette or even any MAC eyeshadows, whatever you can find that's close to this will do. So I'm going to take this last shade right here, this one is called Stay Sultry, and I'm going to use this color to carve out the cut crease. Now I'm going to take this Smashbox brush, I'm not sure where it came from, it's one of the uh, Smashbox uh, palettes, like the double exposure or full exposure, but I'm going to take this and blend out this crazy looking line. So we looking a little crazy, I know, but I'm telling you now, cut crease is a process for me. So now I'm going to take that third shade in, that is the Brazenly, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to take this shade here and I'm going to blend out further this deeper shade on a 217. So to take down some of the metallic look of the eyeshadow, I'm going to use Fig Number no. 1 by MAC. This is a matte eyeshadow, and I'm going to kind of just blend that in over the two shades we just used. Metallic is just fine, but because we're going to do glitter, I don't want it to be too metallic. Now I'm going to go back in with Red Brick to just warm up the upper half of our purple. So now the fun part, we're going to go ahead and cut this crease. I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Vintage Selection. So it's just a really pretty um, kind of metallic color. So I'm going to be taking a 242 and I'm literally just going to line this up perfectly to cut the crease. This is why it kind of doesn't matter if you get a little bit messy um, and end up getting it where you want your lid color because you're going to go back and clean it up anyway. Now for the fun part, I'm going to be using three different glitters from NYX. This one is rose, this one is crystal, and this one is violet. So I'm going to mix these three together in one of the lids to create my perfect glitter combo. Okay, so do excuse how trifling my nails look, but this is the three different colors of glitter mixed together. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down a base for the glitter and then apply this to my lids. So hold on to my glitter, I'm going to use the Too Faced Glitter Glue Glitter Shadow Primer. I'm going to apply that using the same brush I used to lay down the eyeshadow base. So to get even tighter up in this here area, I'm going to use a 228 brush from MAC. Okay, so now that we're sufficiently blinged out, I'm going to go back into the quad palette and I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Serenade, and I'm going to apply that to my inner corners using a 286. Now I'm going to move on to liner. I'm going to use my favorite, which is the NYC Liquid Liner. So now that our eyeliner is on, I had to end up doing a little bit more of it off camera because it was about to turn into a panda situation real quick. For lashes today, I'm going to use the Vegas Nay Eye Lure Lashes. This is in Grand Glamour. I am like legit dying over these lashes right now. I'm like, yes! Before we go any further with the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and dust some of this friggin' glitter off my face. This is why I said kind of make sure you do your eyes beforehand because this glitter can get a bit 
ridiculous. So now I'm going to highlight my face and I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer and this is in the shade Dark Golden. I'm going to blend that out using my fave, the 128 by MAC, but since I already did the eyes and the um, cut crease and liner comes out really far, I'm going to first blend out the eyes with the 132 by MAC so I avoid accidentally getting some of the concealer on the eye. Now I'm going to set all the highlighted areas using, you know it, the NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It Powder. I was like struggling to get powder out. Did y'all just hear that? You'll be happy to know I'm like towards the end of this, so unless I go get another one, I will actually switch up my powder. But prime is not the time to be switching up all your products. Use what you know will work. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark. To contour my nose, I'm going to use Swiss Chocolate Blush by MAC in a 227. The first product I'm going to use to contour my cheeks is going to be Film Noir Blush by MAC and I'm going to use that same 227 brush. And I'm just going to use this first to carve out the hollow of my cheekbone and then blend this out with the Swiss Chocolate Blush. Now I'm going back in with Swiss Chocolate and a Sigma Tapered Face Brush and I'm going to blend this contour out. For blush today I'm going to use this Pale Purple by Tarte. This is called Dazzled and this is their Amazonian 12 Hour Clay Blush. And then you know we got the glow girl. I'm going to use Max M4 Treat Highlighter to highlight the high planes of my face. I know this is limited edition, but any highlighter will do. This is just my favorite because it's a matte pearlized highlighter. So it's going to give you a glow without the shimmer. You don't want to too much take away from the glitter on the eyes, which is why I'm using a matte pearlized highlighter. Now to finish up the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and use my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and this is in the shade Black Velvet. Going back into the Passionate Quest Quad, I'm going to take the shade Brazenly and brush that underneath my lash line. And I'm going to put a little bit of that Serenade shade on the inner lower half of my eye. And of course, you can't forget mascara. For the top, I'm going to use, of course, the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And on the bottom, of course, the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara. And voila, that is finito for the eyes. Lastly, we gotta do these lips, so I would definitely, definitely make sure you use a lip primer of some sort, especially if you're going to be using a liquid lipstick like we are going to be doing today. This one is the Too Faced Lip Insurance Original Demi Matte Anti-Feathering Lip Primer, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And if you're going to be overdrawing your lips for prom, because overdrawing your lips is a huge trend now, make sure you go over your lip line a little bit with the primer as well. So along with my NYX powder, you guys are probably getting really tired of the chestnut lip pencil from MAC as well. It's clearly getting tired of me too. Look how tiny it is. But it's my favorite brown lip liner, so we're going to use that today. For lipstick today, I'm going to be using the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Embellishment. Now the last thing to do, you guys already know, I'm going to go ahead and set my face using the MAC Fix Plus. This is the rose scented one. So because my hair is natural and I do not want it to get jacked up, I am going to use a towel to cover my hair. <laughs> this looks so ghetto, but I don't care.
All right, you guys, so that is it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said in the very beginning, I absolutely loved filming this because I did not do anything this wild, glittery, and fancy for my proms when I went. But this is to help someone that is looking for a good idea to wear with their black, silver, or of course purple prom dress. Please give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any suggestions for videos you want to see in the future, whether it be for prom or just in general, do not forget to leave your suggestions in the bottom bar thingy below. Like I said, I will hopefully have up another prom look for you guys maybe this week. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, girl. Thank <laughs> you.